Okay, in this next video, I'm gonna go over um, different type of loops for uh, C program. Uh, first type of loop you'll come across is the, the do while loop. See how it's see how it works. Similar to the if statement, it has conditions. So it's gonna have a condition over here, and um, basically, whatever's in, nested inside this braces. Sorry, whatever's nested inside here, it will do whatever this is until this condition is met, or until this condition is true. So, for example, let's do. Um, Printf. Oh, do this. Wow. Printf low. While let's see. Uh, x is less than three. Okay. So do this. First, we'll make your variable and make it x. x is equal to zero. Okay, and x is equal to zero, so I'll do this and print below uh, while x less than three. Okay, so there's gotta be an increment in order for this thing to stop, so I'm gonna have to do an uh, increment, so do this basically. Uh, I can do an x plus plus. This would do this every time this um, this line occurs, one will be added to the x value. So x is initially zero. Print out hello, and then I'll add one to x. So x will become one. Well, x is less than three. X is still one, right? So I'll loop it again. Uh, this only runs once, by the way. I'll do print out hello. I'll add one to x. X will be two, and then well, x is less than three. Third time around, three is not less than three, so it'll stop. So let's compile this. Hold on. So I did some fix-ups. I fixed it up. I would print it turn zero. Um, there's always supposed to be a semicolon after the while, so I'm going to compile this on my compiler, so as you can see there's three hello printouts and then it stops. Conditions always met. One other thing with the do while loop, it will always run once regardless. So let's just prove that, I'll make x greater than 0, x greater than 6, it's not greater than 6. So it'll never run, which you think, but since it's a do while, it runs in line by line. This is, it's tested after the fact that this has happened. Once this happens, it'll add one, and then it'll test. It doesn't test prior to this. There's a way of doing this, but this is just a different type of way of doing a loop. So, just change that in my, uh, my, my compiler. Let's go to the six. Okay, let's fix that up. As you see it printed out once. At least it always prints out once. Even if it doesn't meet the condition. If it does not meet the condition, it prints out one regardless. Um, next type of loop that we look at. There's a for loop. The for loop. It's a way of repeating something, but it's a lot more easier. It's a lot easier. First, you start with a 4. Declare your variable. x equals 0. Separate it with one of these over here. Semicolon. And then after that, what happens is you're going to do a um, condition right after. So, well, x is less than, let's say, x is less than 5. And then, after that, you can your increment. Instead of putting your increment in the base of the, uh, of the loop, it's done right after here. A lot more easier. It's just a lot more fast, a lot more efficient. Uh, in some ways it is. Not all the time. You don't want this to happen all the time. But uh, this is much more easier in the case that we're doing it. So we'll do the increment. X plus plus. So that will add at one every time it loops around. So close that up and then we'll make this like this. Okay. 
So, and by the way, this only happened once. This only happens once. This is a one-time thing. This will happen every time it comes around. So every time it comes around, it's just a one-time thing. This don't don't think it's made zero every time. It loops. No, that's not right. This is made zero once. It's the declaration. It's, it's the initial value. And it's, this is the condition. If it's while it's less than five, and then this adds one every time it loops. This so we're doing loops right now. So every time it loops, it'll add whatever it is. Okay, so for int text equals zero, this blah blah blah. I'll do printf. Hope this works. Okay. I predict it'll be done what? Five times. Let's see. Here I am in my compiler right now. I'm just gonna save this. So you see this? Oops, there's an error. Go back to it. Five. Text equals zero. This is five x plus plus. Print this. So return statement. Here's the issue. To make in text outside. To clear in text outside, and then you just finish it out. Sorry about that. Okay, I'm gonna. Okay, it's not out it. Hope this works, hope this works, hope this works. I didn't put a new line character after every time I did this, so it only prints. It won't make a new line, it'll just keep printing on top of each other on the same line. Should be okay. Uh, the new type of loop I'm going to go over is uh, your uh, yeah. while loop. As opposed to the do while loop, the while loop test before it does whatever function it is. Um, and there's no do included, so basically a while in your condition. We'll say a while x is less than 20, or whatever x is less than 10. Let's do this. Um, and your condition. So print f. So print yes, up this time. Make sure everything good. Looks good. So I declare my function um, x equals zero, uh, my variable, and then just save this. Just run it, and that's it. So I'll just there's no increment. So <laughs> there's no increment. So I said just keep running. Make an increment. What's that? Just keep running. So. Infinite run, so let's just fix that up. Here we go. It's a little bit easier for you to read. Print ten times. Here we go. Okay, that concludes it. That concludes this tutorial. Stick around. I'm just going into um function soon and then I'll be hitting up arrays and all the good stuff. So stick around, subscribe, whatever.